Hey, what's up, y'all? Big Willie here, and welcome back to our Seopolis 2 Let's Play. So I'm in here with all of our seeds because I don't exactly remember how many of these I've shown to you guys uh, in my off-camera work, just trying to help ramp up the production of some things towards the end of the pack here. I've added a few more seeds in here. So real quick, we'll just go over the stuff that I think was added since the last time, and then we'll get right into it. So, since the last time you guys saw in here, I know I've added the diamond, glowstone, platinum, signalum, silicon I think we did together in the redstone, so I think it's probably just from here over that we added, but some of the ones we're going to be using a good bit of today is probably going to be the enderium and the steel based on us getting started in mechanism. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. All right, let's check with the don't get distracted woolly chest and see what it has in store for us. Aha. All right, so these are quest turn-ins for the previous chapter's chapter challenge. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way and this out of the way. Now I will say, I have gone through like three of these dungeons so far and not found a single portal crown block. So I'm gonna keep trying to get those and if I'm successful, I will hopefully have a clip to show you me finding them because we need to find one to turn in for this and I think three to be able to make the next tier of the portal. So yeah, that's gonna take us a minute. Now, first things first, I figured since I've been making a bunch of seeds without showing you guys, we'll do another one here on camera for you. Uh, this one is netherite. So we just wanna make sure that we've got as much netherite as we could want available at any time. And you guys know the drill. Look up your recipe in your JEI over here. So if we look up the netherite seed right here, then we click on infusion crafting. It tells us we need four netherite ingots, four supremium essence, and one prosperity seed base, which as you saw, I had all of in the chest. They are shapeless. They don't care what pattern the things are in, as long as all the pedestals have the right number of each item. There we have it. So netherite seeds. Uh, we will just pop that back into the don't get distracted chest, and then I will either put it into a bot botany pot between now and the next episode or some other time. So let's grab out the materials we prepped. Um, Materials we prepped for mechanism today. We went ahead and made a steel casing using the steel, but it required that enderium, which uh, I was showing you guys in the inside. Now, metallurgic infuser is our next thing. And you know what? Let's call it audible. I put all this in here because I didn't know whether I wanted to cover it first or after. So we're gonna just grab all of this material out because this is auto crafting. This is gonna get us into our first tier of auto crafting. So one of the first things we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take this iron crafter and if possible, and oh, see, we don't have everything. We gotta make some more stuff, don't we? Well, let's not get distracted, Wooly, with that because it wasn't on the list. So, I have, oh look at that, I have the processors we need ready to smelt together into these neural processors. Alright, and then all we need to do is smelt these, which I still don't have a furnace in here. Okay, do I not smelt them? No, I don't smelt them. Okay, that's smart, big bully. All right, I am disorganized today. So we needed, what did we need? We need redstone and silicone. Redstone 
and silica. Nice. Then if we put those in there. Sweet. This should let us upgrade our crafter now to the gold tier. Okay, what are we missing? Gold blocks, okay. Four of them. Sounds good. Okay, gold crafter. There we go. All right, next tier. Diamond blocks and two more of those things. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, diamond crafter and then netherite. Four blocks of netherite and we need more of these, which was why I had more of them ready to go. Okay, let's do that and then the And then here we have it, the top tier auto crafter. Nice. So we just need to tie this into our refined storage somehow. So that we can set up some auto crafting for our mechanism stuff. Things like steel casings and telling it that we will be using those essences and all of that fun stuff. We're going to set up so much stuff in auto crafting. We also have to figure out why, oh, why this is not charging. So maybe we just need a battery of some kind. Let's see. Energy cube. Well, we got to get the mechanism to make one. Energy cube. Yeah, let's just bookmark that. Make that one of our earlier things we get into. All right, so for those of you that have never played with mechanism before, the first thing you got to figure out is steel. Um, steel required the pyrolyzer here. You put coal in here. It spits out creosote oil, and then it gives you coal coke. You put the coal coke into the induction smelter with iron, and that made the steel. And so then all I did was made enough steel to make the seed, and I've got steel growing for us so that we don't have to keep doing that same process over and over and over. And so now, if we want to get into auto crafting, we are going to need to tie into our refined storage somewhere. Can we do it above it? I don't think there's anything up there. Let's go see what's up there. Nothing. Cool. All right. So we're going to bring it through the floor. Need a cable. And yeah, here we go. So we're going to put the pattern grid here. This is where we're going to make our patterns. And then we're going to put the crafting monitor. And then we're going to toss our auto crafter right here. And this is where the patterns are going to go once we make them. So what do we want to teach this how to make? We don't want auto select it. We just want two way. No, we want two way auto selected. There we go. What do we want to teach it how to make? Let's teach it. Let's look at the metallurgy confuser. So first and foremost, we're going to need steel casings. So we're going to tell it how to make steel casings patterns. I made some of those. Actually, that's one thing we should tell it how to make. Let's tell it how to make patterns. Okay, and then part of patterns, it's gonna need to be able to make quartz enriched iron. So how do we make that? If it is something in a smelter, we should make a seed for it because, yeah. All right, we'll make the seed for that in between episodes, but that's one thing we're gonna start in the process of doing is telling it how to make all of the other pieces we need. But now that we have a couple patterns, we put them in here, and then we put in the stuff that we need into storage, we should in theory, be able to look up 
steel casing. So good. I can take out one, and if I click it again, I can tell it make me. Let's see. Let's make three more, and it says we're missing nine endurium and eighteen steel. So let's go get some of that stuff. Where is it? It's in here. So this is why we made these seeds is so that we can just, we need a bunch of this stuff. We can throw all this into our storage. And then if we go back upstairs, we can actually tell our auto crafter how to turn those into the stuff we need. So let's go right here and steal. So if you need a steel ingot, this is how you make it. There's that. And then if you need an enderium ingot. Oh, and then we tell it to use those essence we just put in there. And now it has a pattern for that. So one more time with the steel casing. Can you make me a steel casing, please? Three of them. It's missing 40. Why are you missing 40? Is it because they're in here? It's because they're in the old storage and it can't see them. All right, so obviously in between episode, Wooly did not get storage fixed. Gonna have to get to work on that. So now can you make me a steel casing? And there we have it, three more steel casings. Now, metallurgic infuser needs iron. Iron in here. Cool, there's a thousand iron that you, this thing can't see. All right, there we have some furnaces. We'll bring those over. And we have our metallurgic infuser. What does it want us to do next? Let's see. It wants us to make an osmium ingot. Okay, so do we have osmium? Made from gold and platinum in a metallurgic infuser. Aha, that's why I had gold and platinum in the chest. See, see, in between episode, Wooly does know what he's doing. This is just the one playing right now doesn't. All right, so gold and platinum. And we just boop these. Wait, in a metallurgic infuser, it says. Okay, that's different. Right there. So which one goes where for the recipe? Uh, osmium. Metallurgic infuser. The gold goes in this side. Okay, what do you want? Gold dust? Okay. Yes, you do want gold dust. And platinum. There's nine more gold dust. There's our osmium ingot. Okay. Now it wants us to make an osmium compressor, which it totally skips how to make all of that stuff, so this will be fun. This is why I made an extra metallurgic infuser. We just need to give it some power. And then it's gonna need, we need to keep this going, so let's get this gold dust out of here. And then I need some redstone. And it can go in there. Then we need some iron. Then because we're being filming, We can just go 
gold. More gold dust out. Let's just tell it pulverize another stack or two of gold. This one is making our infused alloys for us super duper fast. Alright, so now that that's got us a bunch of those made, let's make our control circuits and speed it up. Here we go. So then it wants us to make these. Right here, we need two of them. One, two, and it wants an osmium compressor. Osmium compressor. There is that. All right. So our next machine still needs power uh, let's get us some energy pipe energy pipe Osmium compressor while we're in here, gold, gold dust in there, more gold dust in there, keep our osmium going. All right, so now that we've made our osmium compressor, it wants us to make refined glowstone and refined obsidian. So let's bookmark these. Let's see what they take. Refined glowstone. Is glowstone with osmium. Okay, so do we have glowstone? We do. And then, can I just put regular osmium in there? regular osmium in here. I can. Awesome. Now, refined glowstone. What about obsidian? Refined obsidian dust, which we get from crushing refined obsidian, which we make refined obsidian in the metallurgic infuser with diamond and obsidian dust. We get obsidian dust from putting obsidian in the enrichment chamber. So we need an enrichment chamber. Okay, that's why we made all those steel casings at the beginning. Okay, and then we'll just conveniently grab our obsidian that's right there and let that go through. Speed all of our machines up. All right, got plenty of obsidian. Now let's make our refined, wait, wait, wait. This needs to go in the enrichment chamber. Uh, let's just finish up this iron here. Use up all that redstone so it doesn't go to waste. And then we're gonna put our obsidian dust in here with uh, refined obsidian. How did we make that? So in here, in here, refined obsidian dust is diamond. Okay, so diamond. We've already got some diamond dust, which we can run through the enrichment chamber here and make it go further. Then in the osmium compressor with the refined obsidian. Can we enrich osmium? Yep. 
there's our refined obsidian. And there we have it. Mechanism for the intents of this pack, done. All right, now that we're through that start of a mechanism to get the things they need us for, to have for the quest line done, let's see if we can make a battery so that we can at least charge our wireless grid so that we can use it, because that would be nice. Basic energy cube, it wants an energy tablet. There's one. Uh, do we have enough to make another? I bet we do. Look at there. Yes, we do. Now, I have no idea why wireless power from Flux is not working. It should, but we are out of steel casings again. Would you look at there? They're going to be in the other storage system that I can't access. All right, an energy cube. Maybe this will let us charge our wireless for our other network. We need power. Now we have it, wireless. All right, what do we want to do for the rest of this episode? What is next? What does it want us to get into next? Awakened altar. All right, so now we don't have to go downstairs every time we need to smelt something. Hooray. All right, and what we needed to smelt was this. Oh my God, I'm sorry for your ears. That is so loud. All right, and then that is the awakened altar. Sweet. What do you give me? Nothing. What do you give me? Nothing. Placed around the altar, so we're going to need four of these. So we're going to need eight more of that stuff we just made. So let's drill down that rabbit hole to get our materials again. Make your time in a bottle early if you're playing through this, because as you can see, it just saves you so much time. Haha, <laughs> time in a bottle saves you so much time. And then now we're going to get into making our final tier of dust. Which I don't think we have all of this for. So we're going to need to make earth seeds. We're going to need to make air seeds. We're going to need to make fire and water. All right, let's look at those together. What do they take? Earth agglomeratio. Okay, which do we get? That's what? Earth agglomerate or whatever. We need grass and gravel. Where do we get grass? Well, that's very helpful. Uh, gravel we can get. What do we need for this one? Do I not have gravel? All right, so give me a few minutes to run through getting these seeds together for us. And I think planting those seeds will make a good stopping point because we're gonna have to wait on them to grow. Actually, we can just time and bottle them. Yeah, all right, so this, let's, let's go over, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sleep because that's what Wooly does. Wooly likes daytime. Now. We're gonna need space to set up another one of these altars because as you can see, it needs all of the things around it again. So just for demonstration purposes, we will set it up right here. As you can see, it is not quite the same as the other setup, but just put the things you just crafted down in the shadows of where they go. And here we have it. Now, we have to fill each of these vessels with the correct uh, essence, which we don't have the seeds for yet. So we're gonna get those made, fill these up, and then we will make one of the Cognizant Dust, just to show you how, 
And in between episodes, I will work on getting this setup automated. And this will be our final like tier of dust. So it will probably end up in the compact machine right here. The one that has all of the different tiers of liquid in it because we are going to need uh, one of those tiers for the process of the conversion. So I might, if there's room, I might just make a third floor in that uh, cube up top and we will set this up, up inside of there. And then we can just move the dust from there through the material that it needs to and then back out, hopefully, into our refined storage uh, next episode. So for today, give me just a few minutes. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to gather these seeds and get them made for us and I'll be right back. All right, we've got all of the materials together for making these earth, fire, water, and air seeds. So let's do it. There we have it. The four seeds we're gonna need for our cognizant ore. We'll grab our netherite seed we made at the beginning of the episode. Then let's head into the compact machine world. Question becomes, do I have enough botany pods ready? And the answer is no. Oh yeah, we just went through like 12 hours of playtime. Let's see. All right, so is this gonna get us all the essences and stuff we need? Let's do it again. Ooh, another four hours, there we go. All right. All right, that should be enough for us to make some cognizant dust. We're gonna need, out of one of our storages, essence. Yep, because we need the orange ones for this craft. So let's take you and break you down to here. And you down to there. Okay, so that gets me 16, and we need four for each of the crafts. Awesome, awesome. That gets us exactly what we need. Last but not least, we need dust, which we have plenty of. So let's fill one with fire, one with air, this one with water, this one with earth. Let's get the things we need lined up here. So, fire, water, air, dust in the middle, and we need a button or a lever. Button. Cool. So our button is our redstone signal to activate the thing. Uh, this needs to be earth. And then we need a tertium essence in each of these. Now I'm going to get this automated in between episodes, hopefully, so that we don't have to do this manually. But here we have it. This is the final tier, I do believe, of dust, isn't it? Nope, creative matter. So we got one more to go. But this one, it basically makes everything. Now it wants us to, well, how do we make the cognizant dust into our uh, other form? Let's see, uses. Cognizant or organic fluid. So we need a block of refined obsidian, which we will get into next time. Uh, I hope you guys have learned some things today, and uh, I can't wait to wrap up this series and get through the end of this mod pack. So hope you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't already, that like button. And if you want to see more Minecraft content from me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to know when the episodes drop, ring that notification bell for notifications. Thanks. 
拜拜。